sellers. Another one is cash on delivery. It means the buyer must pay for the goods before the goods are discharged or before it takes possession of the goods. Terms of trade. This refers to methods, system, or condition of payment for goods. We also have cost, insurance, and freight. It implies that the quoted price covers the cost of the goods insurance premium and transport charges means of payment it refers to the means with which buyers pay for goods and services acquired other means are check it is a written order from a bank's customer to a bank instructing it to pay the person named therein or the bearer the stated amount we also have currency. It is a printed paper which federal government of any country authorizes in payment for goods and services. Telegraphic money order. The post office issues these for any sum up to certain specified maximum amount. Review questions. Outline the features of a check. One, it is drawn up by a buyer or a debtor on a seller or a creditor to accept. Two, it has a lifespan of six months. Three, it does not have the legal tender status. Four, it is transferable, that is, it can be endorsed to someone else. Five, it is honored if duly signed by the drawer. It is free from all sorts of errors. Another question, what is bill of exchange? I like the features of bill of exchange. Bill of exchange is an unconditional order in writing signed by the writer, that's the, the, credit, the, that's the creditor, asking the person to whom it is addressed, that's the debtor, to pay on demand or at a fixed future date to the drawer or his order or bearer the specified sum of money. Features. The amount must be stated in both words and figures. It must show addresses and signatures of all parties involved. It must be in writing and signed by the person giving it. It is a negotiable instrument. It can be discounted before maturity date or until the buyer pays the debt. Another question. Briefly explain the following. Trade discount, cash on delivery, terms of trade, cost and insurance and freight. Trade discount, it is a reduction in prices in order to create profit margin for retailers. Cash on delivery means the buyer must pay for the goods before the goods are discharged or before it takes possession of the goods. Terms of trade refers to methods, system, or condition of payment for goods. Cost Insurance and freight implies that the quoted price covers the cost of the goods, insurance premium, and transport charges. Commercialization. Commercialization is the structure of trade enterprises in such a way as to make them to be more efficient and effective thereby ensuring continuous making of profits. Reasons for commercialization of public enterprises To relieve government of all forms of financial bundle. To completely eliminate corruption like embezzlement, misuse of government property, etc. in public corporations. To divert all public corporations from non-profit making ventures to profit-making enterprises, to ensure effective management 
an high level of efficiency that lead to regular making of profits in public enterprises. Also, to make state enterprises to be self-financing or run as independent business units. Advantages. One, it makes more funds available for government use. It eliminates corruption and inefficiency in such industries. Three, it leads to proper training of staff for the tasks ahead. Four, it makes workers to be more productive and dedicated to their duties. Five, it raises the quality and quantity of the products and services in the commercialized industries. Disadvantages, it causes a rise in prices of goods and services of the affected state enterprises. The increase in prices causes a fall in the people's real incomes. Also, it may lead to termination of some workers as rationalization of staff exercise may be affected. The problem of unemployment may be compounded if commercialized industries recruit labor on the basis of marginal productivity of labor. Privatization. What do you understand by privatization? It is the transfer of industry's ownership from the government to the citizens and indigenous firms. Reasons for privatization. It reduces government expenditure. Governments have more money to improve the quality of public utilities. It increases the level of economic growth. It eliminates losses and ensures constant making of pure profit by such firms. It ensures effective management and high level of efficiency. Advantages. The sales of the firms make revenue to be available to the government. That's the first one. Two, to raise the level of efficiency in the affected firms. Three, to eliminate constant drain on government resources. It eliminates continuous payment of subvention to the affected industries. It eliminates losses and ensures constant making of pure profit by such firms. Disadvantages. One, the economy will be controlled by the private sector. Two, it leads to exploitation of the workers by individual factories owners. Three, the firms have high profit motive. It is capitalistic in nature. Four, the amount of citizens benefit from the government will be highly reduced. It makes the state to forfeit our essential obligations to the state. Deregulation. What do you understand by deregulation? It is the process of removing or reducing state regulations, typically in the economic sphere. It is the undoing or repeal of the governmental regulation of the economy. Advantages of deregulation. It allows more innovation from small buyers. It allows the free market to set prices. Often prices drop as a result. Businesses in regulated industries control their agencies and created monopolies. Disadvantages. It allows asset bubbles to build and bust, creating crises and recessions. It prevents industries with huge initial infrastructure costs like electricity and cable to get started. It exposes people to fraud and excessive risk taking by companies that will do anything to gain higher profits. Social concerns are lost. For example, businesses will ignore damage to the environment since the costs are not absorbed by the company. Rural and other unprofitable populations are underserved. Let's review some questions. I like the advantages of privatization. Privatization. 
it reduces government expenditure, it increases the level of economic growth, it eliminates losses and ensures constant making of pure profit by such firms, it eliminates continuous payment of subvention to the affected industries, it eliminates losses and ensures constant making of pure profit by such firms. Another question, outline the disadvantages of deregulation. One, it allows asset bubbles to build and bust, creating crises and recessions. It prevents industries with huge initial infrastructure costs, like electricity, to get started. It exposes people to fraud and excessive risk taking by companies that will do anything to gain higher profits. Social concerns are lost. For example, businesses will ignore damage to the environment since the costs aren't are not absorbed by the company. Rural and other unprofitable populations are underserved. Another question highlights the advantages of commercialization. One, it makes more funds available for government use. It eliminates corruption and inefficiency in such industries. It leads to proper trade.